This segment is sponsored by Duncan. On May 25th, you can sip ice and bring joy. Duncan is benefiting local children's hospitals with its ice coffee sales this Wednesday, May 25th. So treat yourself and treat others. Joining me now to tell us all the things about this uh, ice coffee day and everything Duncan, we have Colleen Kriegel. Thank you so much for being here, Colleen. Uh, thanks so much for having us. I'm really hungry and the smell of these donuts right now is amazing. Yes. Thank you for bringing everything in. You have an iced coffee day coming up. Tell us about this. Yes, so this Wednesday, May 25th, is our iced coffee day. Mm -hmm. And iced coffee day at Dunkin' means we are um, basically having our coffee do double duty that day. Yes. So it's gonna fuel your day with our delicious different varieties of iced coffee, but we're also giving back. So a dollar from every iced coffee sold on May 25th is going to go directly to local children's hospitals. And for the Washington DC market, our partner is Children's National. So you were saying this happens across the country, but the money that's spent here is going to stay local, right? Correct, so okay. all of the dollars um, collected from iced coffee sales on the 25th in the Washington DC area go to Children's National, stay local to support um, kids in need. And so. It's for every iced coffee, right? We could get flavor in there. You can get flavor. <laughs> okay, so we've good. got all kinds of flavors. As you know, we've got butter yeah. pecan, we've got mocha, caramel, you name it. We've got our ice sunrise batch, Ooh. which is uh, a new limited batch that, that is delicious. So okay. any any size, any iced coffee that day, a dollar awesome. goes to the Joy and Childhood Foundation. I'm glad you mentioned this foundation. That's a big part of this for you. Where, yes. What does that do? So the Duncan Joy and Childhood Foundation's mission is to support local hospitals and programs that have children in sick or hungry or mm. in need of you know illness and to support and bring them joy yeah. so that's why it's called the joy and childhood foundation because duncan really wants to bring joy to those kids so yeah. all of the money goes to the joy and childhood foundation and then like i said the money stays local right here in the washington dc market and this is actually our sixth year partnering wow. with children's national and a very special project as well you get to see some cuddly dogs every once in a while yeah yeah <laughs> so to date we have raised over a hundred thousand dollars for children's national um, thanks to the generosity of our Washington DC franchisees and our crew members and Duncan um, and so this year we're excited because this month actually um, Children's National is welcoming a new therapy dog that's funded by the Joy and Childhood Foundation. I'm so glad you mentioned that. We have the facility dog here, yes. Colleen. Let me take everyone over to another part of our studio. So we mentioned that this goes for children right over here. Take a look at Sprout, hi Sprout. And of course, our two other guests here as well. Thank you so much for coming, Becca Wagner and also Kimberly Fryer. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Scout's the newest member, or Sprout is the newest member? He is, so we currently, before Sprout we had two dogs, um, Barney and Company, okay. who were our fabulous facility dogs and Sprout joined the team in January. And we are so grateful to Duncan because without them, we would not be spreading mm -hmm. so much joy. Now they're facility dogs, right? What What is this program part of? Yes, yeah, so um, the facility dogs are part of our larger animal visitation program, um, but our facility dogs are a little bit unique in that they are trained to work with a clinician to help kids mm -hmm. meet treatment goals. So helping right. get kids up out of bed after surgery to get them out the door sooner, or partnering with kids with new diagnoses to provide coping support, mm -hmm. comfort, um, and it helps to just build trust with those kids um, and kind of take the therapy a little bit farther. I imagine it's a nice little break in their day. <laughs> <laughs> Two rough little sprouts tummy. <laughs> he's, a ham. he's like, I know this is my moment. Good boy. <laughs> now it helps what it, so it's three facility dogs but eighteen children. So something? we have um, three full time facility dogs okay. and then we also have volunteer pet therapy dogs that come in once oh. a week as well. So this okay. allows us to reach even more children um, and to have Sprout on board as well. Yeah. Well and getting to see the children interacting with these dogs too is I mean I mean it's a very hard time of their life. Life, I'm sure. What's it like for you, Becca, when you walk in and you get to bring Sprout with you? In the hospital, it is just an instant mood booster. So Kim and I actually go to work together every morning. And the smiles, the attention, the families are just like, oh, there's a dog here. It's just transformative the moment they walk into the hospital. It's so fun. Well, we were just talking about you can do double duty with your iced coffee on Wednesday. Does that money go directly to these programs and this sort of It does, fun? and it enables us to help grow our program even more. So it enabled mm -hmm. us to be able to add another dog to reach patients that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to reach. Yeah. Um, it also helps to add a little bit of fun and fluff to the program. So being able to throw parties like we did last week for Sprout, 
Um, we're hoping to create little stuffed sprouts and stuffed barneys to be able to give to the patients that we meet so that when they leave the hospital, they get to take mm -hmm. a little bit of these dogs with them um, when they go home. Yeah, have that reminder. Exactly. And yeah, because that's a good memory that they're it taking is. away it from is. the hospital. I also love Sprouts Chew Toy over there of a Dunkin' Cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have their favorite. coffee before they start working in it's the morning. Just like us. He loves it so much. Oh, does he love puppuccinos? He does. <laughs> so we actually had our first one a few weeks ago, at least our first one together, and he lost it. He was so happy we got him in this Duncan Puppuccino, went for a walk and in front of the monuments he was like eating it up. He was so <laughs> thrilled to be alive in that moment. Well you mentioned he's a very sensitive dog too so he's really aware of what these children are going through. He is. Sprout is very attuned to human emotion. Mm. I think it's very remarkable how he can tell when and where he needs to be during a procedure. So for example mm. a child was getting a blood draw a few weeks ago and his secondary handler Holly told me during this he knew when to like go up a little bit more on her body to keep her still and to like have her pay attention to him instead of the IV. But then when she was a little upset, he would go down on her body to give her that space and that time that she needed to really process and cope through what was happening. That training must be extensive that they go to like be that aware. It is, and it's so. also just, I think, unique to the personality of the facility dogs, and that's why they end up mm. with us, because they are so good at connecting with these kids. Um, and as yeah. Becca said, just kind of matching the energy of the room. Like, they can be goofy and fun and playful and play fetch with the kids, or they can be, you know, they're just to be a snuggle and to be a soft spot to land um, yeah. for kids who just need a little bit more of a quiet presence. So. It's so sweet. Well, I mean, we haven't heard a peep out of Sprout all morning, so best dog in my book. <laughs> we agree. <laughs> They're the best. We're very lucky and yeah. we're just so appreciative um, to the Joy and Childhood Foundation for, for making this possible because it wouldn't be possible without them. So. Well, we're glad that we can do something like buy iced coffee and support <laughs> your programs at the same time. So ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank Again, you. get out there this Wednesday, May 25th, buy your iced coffee from Duncan and the proceeds will go to helping local children's hospitals with programs like the Children's National Hospital's in-residence facility dog sprout right here. It's truly this simple guys. You <laughs> sip iced and you bring joy.